did you guys, did you guys say 15 or 10? You say, how much did I give you? 10? He said, yeah, it's 10. He said, oh, it's okay. I wanted to be sure that the blessing of God operates upon your life. You will pay what you want. You will know that there is the possibilities of God. Come on, sir, and shout, enlarge my cross. Enlarge my cross. Okay, what does it mean to be enlarged? Especially as it relates to the cross. The cross is your territory, the cross is your business. Any place of your operations is your cross. So the reason why you need God to enlarge your cross is because you are in the same position in every area of your life. What's growing in you is your age. You are not growing spiritually, you are not growing financially, educationally, but what's going up is your age every day. Not that God must enlarge your cross. There are people in this life who rises at a speed of sound. While some people, they are stagnant at a certain level. In this kingdom, we are not called to jump. We are called to rise. What is jumping? Okay. Jumping is rising with the guarantee that I will go down. You know that there is a guarantee that I will come down. But in this kingdom, we are called to take off. We are called to run. Elijah ran, man. Water is coming. Run, Elijah. Jehovah ran, man. We are not called to jump. Jumping is when sometimes your life it takes an epileptic illness that this month you are there, next month you are here, this month you are there, you don't have a threshold in operations that jumping. You are guaranteed, you know yourself that in April my finances are good. June and July is not only cold, it's cold in my finances. That's jumping. I prophesy that you're going to rise up. Shout to the same. You must experience the enlargement of your cause. Amen. Amen. I prophesy that there will be financial increase upon your life. Amen. I prophesy that you will increase spiritually. Amen. I told you that I came under the order of Abraham. Amen. I speak a blessing of my life. And I speak power of a life. Growth is very important as a child of God. Number one, growth is a sponsor of peace, joy, and fulfillment. When you know that I'm growing, it sponsors peace in your life. It sponsors joy and fulfillment when you know that you're growing. So, growth one to evolve into a superior vision of yourself or herself and it makes you as an individual to cover ground as far as destiny is concerned. Growth it evolves you into a superior, not an inferior, superior vision of yourself and it makes you to cover ground as far as destiny is concerned. You must cover ground. John says that I pray that you prosper, be in good health. Even as you so prosper, the Bible says we move from glory to glory. The Bible speaks of moving, man. The Bible does not speak of monuments. It speaks of moving. They moved from Egypt to Canaan. They stayed in Sinai. And Moses says unto them, let's move. We've been stagnant. The Bible speaks of movement. The Bible says on the second day, God created that movement. I don't know if I'm talking about this place. God said unto Adam, move away from Eden. Go there. That's movement. The Bible says that Cain was told to leave Eden and to go to not. That's movement. You may be moving to a trajectory, but there must be movement in your life. Number three, the Bible says uh, that Jabez says unto God that thy hand might be with me. Shout, oh God. oh God, let your hand let your be, with be with me. I want to show you the mystery behind God's hand. First Chronicles 29, verse 11, the Bible says that Thy, O oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that 
is in heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom and thy have exalted your heart above all twelve now. Both riches and honor belongs to thee. And thou reignest over all and it is in thy hand to make grace. So in the hands of God, there's 